All right, um, this is going to be number one from the 2007 Calculus A, B, and B, C exams. Um, and it's a little unusual in that it's an area and volume question, uh, and they didn't give you the graph. They gave you the functions, obviously, but not the graph. So um, let's graph them. So the first one is 20 uh, over 1 plus x squared. And the second is y equals 2. Um, so let's rearrange this so that we have a better view. So I'll drag that. Um, let's do this. Window settings. Um, go up to 25. All right. So the region is bounded above by this graph, by F1, and below by F2. I need to find where they intersect, so let me do that. I like to use the intersection tool uh, instead of the the alternative is to use um, in geometry. There's uh, intersection points. That just gets all of them at the same time. And there's nothing wrong with that. It's actually faster. Um, I guess it's just personal preference. Anyway, you can see that they intersect at exactly negative 3 and 3, which is nice. Um, and you can plug that in to check um, that it's not some weird rounding problem that you're having. But negative 3 and 3. Um, so. I mean, I could store those, but those are really easy to remember. So let's do this. So the first thing we have to do is find the area. So the area is the top takeaway of the bottom from A to B. So integral from negative 3 to 3 of 20 over 1 plus x squared and then minus 2 and then dx. Oh, whoa. Um, which gives you that. Um, let's get a decimal for that. 37.962. And the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to find the volume of the solid uh, generate when R goes around the x-axis. So around the x-axis, here's the x-axis. I start here, I go until I hit the outer curve, which is F1. I go until I hit the inner curve, which is F2. And so those are my two radii, and let's uh, write it down. So it's going to be pi, and then the integral from negative 3 to 3. And then it's outer minus axis. So uh, actually I actually have that stored in F1. So F1 uh, minus 0. I always write that in even though it's not necessary. And then minus, and then F2 minus 0 squared. So make sure you uh, do outer minus axis, square it, then minus inner minus axis, and square it. Don't, uh, don't screw up the where you square it part, because that costs you all the points. Um, Put a dx, get a decimal, uh, 18719. Let's see if there's more decimals hiding. Uh, there aren't. Uh, but remember, you're going to three decimals, so it's always a good idea to check that. Uh, I'm not really sure. I mean, it has a limit on the number of actual numbers that it will show you, so I always check it just in case. Um, and then finally, what I want to do is uh, r is the base of a solid. The solid has uh, cross sections that are semicircles, and I want to find the volume of this particular solid. So I have memorized, because it seems worthwhile, that semicircles are pi over 8, and then the integral from negative 3 to 3 of um, top takeaway bottom, which would be, uh, I guess, F. Uh, I'll type it out because you're trying to follow. 1 plus x squared top minus bottom squared. Um, so that's really worth memorizing because semicircles come up quite quite a bit as a, the cross section of choice. Um, so it's pi over 8, the integral from a to b of top takeaway bottom quantity squared. Um, so it's a little easier than deriving it every time. But uh, you could also derive it every time. It doesn't make a difference. And I also would not write down the exact values here. I would definitely go for the decimals. But anyway, uh, that's a little problem, so I hope you found this helpful, and good luck.